Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagam. Today I have another dragging video. Um, I really hope you like this one. It's just about Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton's been on my mind a lot lately just because there's so many new releases. I made a new like arrivals video. You can go check out like a bunch of new things that they've released. Um, so I wanted to just quickly share those with you. I've also created a companion post on my blog so you can go read that which is also linked um, below in the pinned comment so you can go check that out. So I was like, you know, LV is on my mind lately. LV has so much coming up so we have a lot to cover from Louis Vuitton moving forward and I love the Louis Vuitton brand um, but they are dragging people so let's get started. The first story is from the Zurich Boutique. I think this is the Zurich flagship. Um, the essay was super rude and unprofessional. He didn't bother to even help when I asked him to show me other jackets. He said, this is all we have. <laughs> I checked in the LV app for the jacket. He, it said it's still available. I asked him, he said it isn't. I asked for another essay and it was there in the store. He didn't want to help me. Um, they think that they, I can't afford anything at Louis Vuitton. While I have a high profile, this is really unprofessional and disgusting. Yeah, I agree, it is. But this is a sign of the times. We've said it many times before on this channel. Louis Vuitton in particular has this strategy where they like to kind of test clients, um, in my experience. Particularly if they think that you're not going to buy anything. I'm not saying it's right that the, that the essay is like making a judgment that this client wasn't going to buy something. I would think if you walk in and say, I would like to buy a jacket today, um, that you know they'd be willing to show you things. I must say, saying I want to try on jackets is very different to saying, I I would like to buy a jacket today can you show me the ones you have it's become almost like a running joke on this channel whenever i say that because i'm always like can you show me the ones you have <laughs> um but honestly i have found that when you're very direct in europe and you're you're like um this is Zurich, switzerland obviously but when you're very direct in europe whether it's the eu whether it's european countries um that are not part of the eu like switzerland but that is part of the like customs um zone like switzerland you need to be very direct and be like hello i would like to buy this jacket today i would like to buy a jacket today can you show me the ones you have so i can find the one that's right for me it needs to be very direct like that i don't feel necessarily feel like this client um, did anything wrong but um, I'm not surprised because like I feel like a lot of essays in the European cities and the European boutiques they want to know that you're going to spend a lot of money and you're really going to buy today and they must get a lot of people who are just browsing and who don't go through with purchases because the way people have complained of rude treatment particularly at the, the boutiques that I'm going to mention in this video is very eye-opening. The next ragging review is um, from someone who also shops at the Zurich location. If a client wants a product from the back, just get it from the back and don't sigh at the client. I understand. Um, hold on, wait. Okay, I just I thought there was a mistake there. I understand if there's a limited if there's limited of, um, availability, that's really difficult. But the essay said there's a lot in stock. I came um, from the states, um, so I had to FaceTime my wife to look at the bag. But the essay kept bugging me: Are you going to buy or what? This was just a two-minute call, not even. It was just a two-minute call. Um, I don't know what her problem was. Okay, now we've chatted about this before. I just want to adjust this here. Okay, we chatted about this before many times, and I have said it before, and I will say it again. If you're from America or Canada and you're shopping in Europe, you have to be very direct when you are shopping in European boutiques. The essay saying, "Are you going to buy it or what?" That is like the person being frustrated because the person's calling their wife and you know he's calling his wife because he wants to check to see if that's the one that she likes um i have found that they really don't like when you're like facetiming people in the store um or calling people in the store i think that they think that you're like a reseller it really turns them off from helping you again this is one of those cultural misunderstandings we'll call them luxury cultural misunderstandings the client isn't wrong the essay isn't wrong it's just something which I think is a little little bit taboo like and it's known to be quite taboo like if I was asking my husband to buy something I would be like you know can you buy this today and can you I will say the name of the item and because like obviously the name would be enough and definitely maybe show him a picture so that he knows the thing that I want so that he doesn't maybe have to do that I'm not saying it's like completely wrong 
for the person to do the phone call but they really 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 don't like it when you do that they hate it and we all know this so like um i feel like again it's just one of those things where the client isn't reading the room the client is innocent because the client's trying to do the right thing and buy a gift for his wife okay on this channel we love men who buy gifts for their wives okay and girlfriends that's wonderful but you know, um, I'm not surprised that he got dragged because maybe he wasn't direct with the essay to make it very clear that he was going to be um, buying something. So I'm not um, surprised um, about that. The next dragging review is from Zurich in Switzerland. And um, the client is very angry. And of course it is Louis Vuitton. All of the reviews today are from Louis Vuitton, okay? Um, this is the second place that we went to in Zurich that I had a bad experience, ouch. We visited this boutique to get check-in luggage and we bought a few items in London before this at Louis Vuitton. We walked into this shop um, from the connecting door behind. For this reason, no one attended to us. Okay, I don't get that. And we don't blame anyone about this. We just started to explore on our own um, what we wanted before we engaged with any available essays. We took a... Um, hand carry luggage which is something we wanted and we wanted to look at other luggages oh no no we wanted to look inside the luggage to see the inner compartments there was a big table about 10 feet long and there was a customer just sat in front and we we asked the customer excuse us is it okay if we just take some space to look at the luggage by placing the luggage on the table the customer says it's okay so we proceed to do that however the essay comes forward and says very rudely do you have an essay attending to you can't just explore on your own do you see my client here um this made us feel like we're disturbing them and like we're insulting them and then the person says you're insulting your brand Louis Vuitton and you're not being courteous I believe everyone walked into LV is your prospective customer everyone should be treated equally um, we just left the store without buying anything we don't feel like buying anything I hope the store manager takes note of this and changes okay first of all this is a great example of people who are not reading the room and using common sense you're telling me that Louis Vuitton which is to this day, still a trunk maker and luggage maker, and all the luggages and trunks are made in Arnais or Seine, which is like the ancestral home of Louis Vuitton himself, okay? You're telling me that a company that still makes trunks and luggages today wouldn't want to sell a roll-on, carry-on luggage um, item to you. Um, you're, you're telling me that. No, I don't believe that. Okay, so this lends, this, this leads me to think that these people were not reading the room. They're just walking. They took a piece of luggage, like a the check-in, like roll-on luggage. They put it on a table where there was another client receiving service and tried to open it there and then. That's very inappropriate. You're not reading the room. And again, it's one of those things of cultural misunderstandings. Maybe in your home store, a client can just walk in and take a piece of the, the luggages and put it on a table in front of another client. But I would definitely think in Europe that would not be seen as acceptable um, behavior. Um, they deserve to get dragged. They got dragged. The essay checked them and said, do you have an essay attending to you? Can't just explore your own. Do you see my customer here? Exactly. Exactly. And I would say the same thing like, girl, um, do you see this client here? Why are you putting a luggage on the deck? First of all, who told you to go say, who told you to go and take luggage that you haven't been given permission to touch? That's number one. Number two, why are you taking the luggage, bringing it, opening it up, okay, <laughs> in front of another client who's receiving service? Um, they deserve to get dragged, you know? It is what it is. The person deserves to get dragged. And I'm sorry, I just, I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel like the problem is like a lot of people, again, are not reading the room. Um, I would say at this point now, the Johannesburg store is like going to be my home store now, moving forward. I would never go into the Johannesburg store and pick up one of the trunks or luggages and put it on a table and open it up without asking for permission. Or, and first of all, you wouldn't do that anyway. You'd ask your SA or any SA there to do it for you. Um, and the, in the Joe, Joe Bug boutique, there were lots of trunks and um, luggages and stuff. Um, like, come on now, okay? You're going to get dragged. You deserve to get dragged. Um, and they're rude to you. And the, the client's probably happy. To, to get rid of, I mean, the essay is probably happy for them to go because that client is probably a big spending client. You know, we've chatted about this before. I saw a vlogger um, say that, you know, the, the, 
the, the like top spending clients are not like the clients that are the most important for these brands and stuff and I disagree. The clients who spend a lot of money are incredibly important for these brands. The top spending clients are incredibly important to brands like Louis Vuitton and also clients who are very consistent. Some of you have told me you know, some of you keep doing this thing, which is one of my pet peeves. Please don't do this. It's the whole I'm not a VIP thing. I'm not a VIP at Louis Vuitton, but I shop there often and I show a lot of loyalty. You're a good client of the brand. It's okay to put your hands up and say you're a good loyal client of the brand, even if you're not an official VIP and you get treated very well. So people who are very consistent, so maybe going once a month or once every other month or going every six to eight weeks or something like that, I feel like that really shows that you're a good client. This client who was at the table when this couple <laughs> was opening up the luggages like are you mad i mean they're going to get dragged you're going to get dragged you deserve to get dragged you're very presumptuous i would never walk into a touristy louis vuitton um like the zurich boutique that's going to have a lot of big spenders locally and a lot of tourists and pick up a roll-on piece of luggage and be so presumptuous that i can take it off the shelf and open it in front of the a table where there's another paying client there um you're gonna get dragged and you deserve to get dragged the next dragging review is also from Zurich. Um, I purchased a bag on Saturday and although the service was great in the boutique, it was my first time purchasing an item where I asked for the information so I could get a tax refund at the airport. I go early to the airport to go through the tax refund process only to realize the person who I was working with never gave me um, the official form that was needed to get the refund. I had an empty envelope with just a duplicate receipt. Very disappointing. It's disappointing, but it was your responsibility to make sure that everything there um, was correct. It's your job to take responsibility for your tax refund. It is not the essay's job to organize everything for you. Yes, the essay is wrong for not doing it correctly, but you should have checked. Um, I check all my uh, documents like whenever I shop in Europe, even um, after finishing. Like at Big H, they do it quite thoroughly. Um, at Dior, they do it very thoroughly. They put like everything there so that you, you know, so that everything is fine for you. But you know, again, I don't understand like people not being thorough and then going on the internet to complain about it. It's your fault. It's your refund. You should have double checked and frankly should have read my blog post. Remember when I wrote about the VAT refund process for the EU, but also you need to be more thorough. What do you guys think about this one? I would love to know what you think about this one because I think this is one where we're going to we're all going to, I don't know, we're all going to, we're going to have different views on it. Um, the essay is wrong for making a mistake, but um, you should double check. I definitely would have double checked and I double checked all of my forms even before um, leaving Paris, because at least if you had double checked, um, she, not Paris, like in this case, Zurich, at least if she had double checked, she could have gone back to the store and had it corrected. Dragging review is going to be very controversial. We're not going to agree on this, but let's get started. It's from the Denver, Colorado boutique for Louis Vuitton. Um, and yeah, let's get started because this one's very controversial. We had a bad experience at this location. We'll never be shopping here again. Our future purchases will be with the Las Vegas boutique with our SA, they name him. I told him how rude the SA was at the Cherry Creek store. The SA was very apologetic for how badly we were treated. We went to the boutique today to return a $5,000 bag that broke within a month. First, the woman rudely said we won't take a, re we won't take a return without the receipt, even though we had an account with all our purchases. So my husband found the emailed receipt and she didn't even look it over. Then she took her phone camera and examined the bag for like 10 minutes as if it was fake. I understand she needs to check, but it was excessive. We explained to her that the Las Vegas store approved a return or exchange and it was not a repair because it was defective. We didn't want to return it at that time, but they were going to keep, it on, they were going to keep an eye out for the same bag um, in white if one became available. Well, it never did. So we went back to return and get something else. Never once did she behave like a nice essay. She was super rude the whole time. To top it all off, she then says, did you use it? And I said, yes, it was gently used. Um, hold on, wait, yeah. Then she, she says at the end, was, was this used? And then she says, yes, it was gently used. She says, well, we can't take this back. You've just lost our business forever, Denver. I then texted RSA. He's sending out a return shipping label tomorrow. Don't ever shop here. They don't deserve the commission. First of all, first of all, you, boo-boo, are bang out of order. And you're lucky that the SA in Vegas probably wants to sell you exotics and luggages. So it doesn't mind 
you know dealing with you because they sound horrible okay and they sound like a stressful um, pair of people to deal with this couple is bang out of order you used the bag you claim it's defective but you use the bag well which one is it bobo because if something is defective how are you using something that's defective that's number one number two you used it i remember in one of my older dragging videos there was a client who shopped at the Chanel boutique, I think in one of the Chanel stores in California. She bought a classic flap. She used it for a week. She claimed she was trying it on at home, never took it out, never took the stickers off. But every day she would take the classic flap out of the box, try it on at home. I've never heard that chestnut before. And then she went to the Chanel store to return it and they gave her a tough time. It seems like they had maybe even like marked her profile that this was a difficult person. There's some people who like the thrill of shopping, like they want that thrill, right? The thrill of buying something and then they want to return it to get their money back. That way they can say, oh, I shopped at Louis Vuitton, but it was defective. Or I shopped at Big C, but you know, it was defective. It was defective this, it was defective that. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, okay? The bag was gently used, it was still used. That bag can now not be sold to someone else. And this couple bought that bag, they claim it was defective. I don't believe you now because you just said that you used the bag. And now that bag is going to be sold through Louis Vuitton's warehouse to some innocent person who's thinking they're getting a pristine brand new item. I hate this about a lot of the people who write these dragging reviews across the board that's why big h baby she doesn't play with you because you are not getting a cash refund honey you're going to get store credit and go find something else to buy i think moving forward i don't blame um i don't blame like luxury brands for doing the store credit thing because then they have to deal with people like this and i know you're like well we don't know maybe they were big spenders i don't know in my experience when i was running my beauty store the biggest spenders um were the people who were less stressful to deal with the people who spent the most money generally speaking in business are not the people moaning and whinging about something being defective and then saying oh by the way we're gonna you know oh yeah it was defective but it was gently used um we don't know their profile obviously don't know these people so we're just speculating based off what they wrote and if your essay in vegas is so great why are you not doing the return with the essay who knows you why why would you try and return it at a store where you're not known maybe they thought that they were special or different and they should be treated differently the s the clients are bang out of order and they deserve to get dragged you gently used a bag stop it was used okay the bag was used let me stop you right there the bag was used and that's not cool because that affects us like if you're watching this channel you probably shop at Louis Vuitton you like Louis Vuitton I don't want to buy someone's gently used bag okay because they wanted to go and do a return to get another bag so I hope that the returned bag they got was also gently used that way we've come full circle they get a gently used bag because there's some other innocent client who now has to get a gently used bag which they claim was defective I don't believe that they deserve to get dragged okay and if i knew these people in real life i would tell them off because they're bang out of order the next one is um also from the denver boutique i went in today for the first time i found a style that i liked it was crossbody but it was a bit too small for me i asked the essay if they had a larger version she pointed to a much larger size and said it was a tote i asked if they had a size in between that that was a shoulder bag she said it wasn't in store and it was sold out online I saw another customer looking at the medium in a different color. Maybe she didn't think showing me um, if I would like it, or maybe she was discriminating. Either way, she had no interest in helping me. That was such an obvious and simple solution. After leaving, I checked the website, found what I was looking for. I hope, and it's in stock. I hope they make a commission. She missed that sale. Well, first of all, you know, you're shopping online, like Louis Vuitton's still getting paid, sweetheart. <laughs> That's number one, okay? Um, but number two, this is another great example, again, of LV essays making their own personal judgment on whether they think you're going to buy something today. This person doesn't sound like they were shopping to purchase today. This person sounds like they were shopping to try some something on to see what works for them and then maybe they wanted to think about it and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But like I said, you should always say you're going to buy today. A lot of you are from America and you're telling me, oh, you don't need to say that in America. She didn't say that and she got dragged, okay? If I was her, I would have been like, hello, 
I am looking for a certain bag that I know is available. She claims that, you know, first the essay is like, oh, you know, you know, we we have a larger size it's a tote then she sees someone else trying on the bag and then she's like you know can i have that one the essay didn't think that she wanted to buy because maybe she was trying things on and she kept asking too many questions like do you have it in this size do you have it in that size do you have it in this size do you have it in that size here when she says maybe she didn't think about showing me that size to see if i liked it or maybe she didn't want to order one for me maybe you were trying lots of things on and you weren't making an indication that you're going to buy something um today um so the essay you know maybe just wasn't trying to help you i feel like big big lv essays to me because a lot of these reviews are either from a few months ago or they're up to just one year ago so they're still very recent it seems to me that louis vuitton essays around the world have a lot of discretion to decide who to help and who not to help and they make their own judgment calls which i think is kind of good because it empowers the essay to build their own book of clients that person was buying a bag maybe they felt like i'm buying a bag i'm doing this essay a big favor you don't know how many um very consistent clients the essay has like i told you guys before you don't need to spend 100k 200k a year lv to be a, to be considered a great client of the brand. I think Louis Vuitton, if anything, is more about consistency. So I think if you're someone who goes in once a month, you go in every two months um, and you spend consistently, you're the type of person who Louis Vuitton wants for sure. Um, so this person got dragged because the, L the LV essay made a judgment call that the person wasn't buying today. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I do think Louis Vuitton is moving in this direction of what are you buying today? What is the tran transaction size of your purchases today versus trying to grow your profile together um, the only exception to this was my experience at the Johannesburg store but I will be going there in summer and I'll report back whether the, the those good vibes are still there because eventually you're going to have to start spending quite a bit in order to kind of maintain your profile at any Louis Vuitton maybe this person was just popping in to buy a bag that's fine um, but they're like oh what about this oh what about this but they're not giving the indication that they're going to buy today I feel like at Louis Vuitton you have to make it very clear regardless of what you're buying I am making a purchase today okay and i think that's the key thing the next dragging review is from the denver boutique of louis vuitton to start off i hardly make any purchases of louis vuitton in the boutique i usually do it online or over the phone this is my second time going into this louis vuitton boutique the first time everything was great the essay was really helpful i'm in kind i wish i knew her name but today i went to try and exchange a, a purse that i received and when i let the essay know that the purse i was trying to exchange it for she immediately said i'm sorry we don't have that in the boutique um she didn't bother looking so then i told her I just call client services to make sure you guys had it and he said you did she asked did he check um this location and i was like yes it's the only louis vuitton boutique in denver and only after i told her that she started looking sure enough they had it throughout the whole process she did not say one word to me she was not polite at all i just don't understand why she would do this or if I was being judged on how I looked, she didn't want to help. I didn't get her name. I'm sticking to purchasing online. This wasn't a good experience. Okay, so this is a great experience as well of kind of the etiquette issue as well that um, a lot of people in these dragging reviews receive. Me personally, I don't know how you guys feel. I know that in America, a lot of you um, are from the US and you told me that exchanging and refunding is fine. I totally understand that, but I do think there comes a point where if a lot of people are coming into the store to exchange and refund things, people are not making any new purchases. I think that this person, if they are a Louis Vuitton shopper online, as they claim to be, why not go there and just like add something else that's small, like even a perfume, like buy something as well. Um, because the essay hasn't basically sold anything to you. As far as the essay is concerned, you're not even a client because you just come in to exchange something. Um, they haven't sold you anything. Why not go and buy even something small like a perfume? or I'm trying to think what else could the person have bought buy something yeah really small like a perfume or you know a card holder or like a, a wallet or something why not just buy something at the very least you, even just one thing just to show that okay i'm return i'm exchanging it but you know i want to show that support or whatever and you know you want to you know show that you are a loyal client of the brand you you love the brand so much even though you're exchanging something you're also going to be buying something as well um 
I don't, I don't get it. I mean, the SA like shut down because the person was exchanging something and didn't buy anything. I'm pretty sure had the person decided to buy something, um, the SA probably wouldn't have shut down. Um, maybe in-store shopping isn't for this person. I do feel like in-store shopping has its own kind of world of etiquette. There is etiquette, there's luxury shopping etiquette. We've talked about it, you know, from the European perspective a lot, but I, I would imagine in America, you know, there's a similar thing. You're going in to exchange something, you're not known to that store, they don't know you there, you don't have connections there, you do not have a relationship there, you're not someone who's spending 50, 60, 70,000 a year at that particular boutique specifically there. Um, they're not gonna care about you, girl. You know, they're just gonna be like, girl, bye. Okay, we're tired, let's move on. I'd love to know what you think about that one. I forgot to ask you guys to subscribe. Please make sure you, that you have subscribed if you haven't already and go follow me on all my socials that will link below. The um, final um, dragging review that we're going to talk about is um, also from Denver, Colorado. Unfortunately, the Cherry Creek staff treat you like trash. I bought an LV purse and wanted to exchange it for something and I was dressed very casually. I went up to look at a purse. I didn't realize I was behind a counter. I shouldn't have been behind. I think I thought it was just a showcase, but the essay comes up to me and is all snobby and says, excuse me, do you mind? And points me away from the bags, like treating me like I can't afford the LV bag. Unfortunately, this isn't my first time being treated like that in this location. Sorry, as a luxury brand, regardless of how you look, you shouldn't treat clients badly. Maybe I shouldn't have been behind the counter. <laughs> but there's a respectful way of saying things. Anyways, after that encounter, I felt rushed and like I was a waste of time, ended up returning the bag because he ruined it for me. Okay, guess what? You return the bag, you're, you're now left with no Louis Vuitton bag. Louis Vuitton's gonna sell that bag to someone else. Someone else is going to get the bag that you really liked. Okay, uh, well, actually, actually, you didn't like it. You wanted to exchange it for something else. So you now are left with no bag because you failed to exchange it. Um, if you have shopped at this location before, presumably you know that they are like places that you can't go. I don't know if it's just me, but isn't it very obvious like those like showcase areas, you know, like where you can't go behind and it's just the essay that stands there. Am I the only person who's like noticed that? It's like really obvious, particularly because this client has actually said that she has um, shopped there before. Like, you know, I'm so confused. Like, I don't understand what people want. I don't, okay, the essay was rude saying, excuse me, do you mind? But the essay's confused, girl. Like, why are you standing there? What are you doing? Okay, people are killing me. Oh, you returned the bag. You know, you really got one up on the essay. The, the bag is going to be sold that day to another client. It's almost like they didn't even miss that money. Now, you, boo boo, are left with no bag to exchange. You have nothing now from Louis Vuitton and someone else is going to get that bag and now you've lost your chance to exchange something from Louis Vuitton. <sighs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> Guys, this is not leopard behavior, okay? I can't, I can't. Okay, okay, wait, actually, this is the final review. There's another one, this is a good one. My first experience at the Louis Vuitton Denver, Colorado boutique was great. I went into my wallet for my boyfriend for Valentine's and received great service from name essay's name my boyfriend after receiving the gift decided to go to louis vuitton to feel out other wallets that were in stock this is important to feel out other wallets that were in stock he walks in um and from the get-go was asked if he had an appointment was told to wait by the entrance while the essay went to him to see if they were able to help him the essay forgot about him another essay came by and asked if my boyfriend if he had been helped he gave them the rundown of what he was looking for and the previous essay came back and essentially told him they were unable to help him despite bringing the wallet in with what we were told would be a gift receipt. He was interrogated regarding his relationship to me, the original buyer, and was questioned overall. After basically fighting to receive the green light to exchange his wallet, the options he was given were very minimal by the first essay who greeted him and told him this is all we have. The options he was given at first were minimal and was told this is all we have. My boyfriend asked the essay to open the drawers below the counter and lo and behold other options were available. You shouldn't need to wear a suit and tie to the shopping center to be treated with respect and dignity. Um, discrimination is alive and well. It's unfortunate that a gift was given with love is now tainted with a sour memory thanks to shopping experience. Well first of all, first of all, okay, I've seen this in a lot of dragging reviews um, and I struggle with reviews like this because I don't think anyone should be treated badly but 
Note what she says at the beginning. First, she says he wanted to go to, after he got his gift, he wanted to go to LV to feel out other wallets um, that were in stock. By the way, I think it's really, really in bad form. Um, and I know no one agrees with me. Some of you will drag me. I think you should never, ever exchange a gift that someone has given you. I'd be really offended if um, this was my partner and I had bought, you know, my, for example, if I bought my husband something and then he's like, well, I want to go and exchange. I'm like, well, that's the gift I bought for you. That's for another day. But I think that's wildly inappropriate. Anyway, the boyfriend goes and decides he wants to go to LV to feel out other wallets they have. What, are you adding a wallet or you want to exchange one? So that's when I was like, mm, I don't really like the vibes of this like this particular review because that was a gift so now you want to exchange a gift so say that then at the beginning and maybe they maybe he came with that energy like seeing like hey i want to look at the wallets you have but actually you don't want to buy anything you want to exchange a wallet that you currently have but you're pretending like you're going to buy something mm, i don't i don't i don't like that you know he gave them the rundown of what he was looking for and um, the other, and then, okay, so basically, another essay, the original essay that ended up blanking him could basically feel that this person wasn't here to buy anything, they were just here to exchange something. Um, gave them the rundown, and then he gives them the rundown of what he's looking for, and then the essay who blanked him previously then comes by again and says, you know, we, we can't help you despite him bringing the wallet. Um, and what we were told would be a gift receipt. That's when they start interrogating him, like, you know, who is the person who bought this for you and this and this and this. If he had got in there and been like, I am going to buy a wallet, and by the way, I received one from my girlfriend, I really liked it, I'd like to add another wallet, this would not have happened. But because he was there to exchange a gift, um, which I'm just processing that because I think that's horrible, my personal opinion no one's gonna bully me boo boo out of my opinion I don't like that they're just kind of feeling like okay great here's someone else who's here to exchange items but they have no um, intention you know of buying anything else and this is why I always say I feel like if you're exchanging something again I don't feel like an exchange is wrong but exchanges should be in first of all should be in pristine condition I think in most of these dragging reviews um, that I read for these dragging videos, whenever people do exchanges and returns, the items are not brand new, they have been used. And by used, I mean, the, for example, like a, a men's wallet obviously will be, you know, most of them, not all, but a lot of men's wallet wallets are folded, right? They're like square and they're folded. You know, the man might have used it a few times, might have used it once or twice. It's still used. I love Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is one of my favorite brands. I don't want to buy anything from Louis Vuitton that someone has used even once. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. Don't even come for me in these comments because I am not playing today. This person used that wallet and he knows he used it. So he wants to exchange it now to get something else to see if you can feel it out. The essays, the essays could feel that the energy was off and that's why the essay, like the first essay, you know, was told, the essay went to see if they could go help him. That essay goes away and forgets about him and dumps him. So he actually got dumped by the first essay. Then another essay comes to say, um can i help like what are you looking for then the boyfriend's like oh yeah i'm looking for wallets and all the rest of it then the first essay who dumped him because he was like oh this person's not purchasing anything or maybe maybe they had a conversation which led the essay to believe that then comes over and says we can't help da, da, da. the thing that i have noticed okay about particularly again louis vuitton is if they think you're not going to buy anything they don't want to show you other items. Whether you're exchanging something, whether you are purchasing something um, outright, if they think that you're not going to buy anything, they don't want to show you anything. And that's why I always told you guys in my reviews, like, and whenever we talk about how to shop at these brands and not get dragged, I have found that you really have to be clear that you're going to buy things. I think even if you're going to exchange something, just go pick something small up. I mean, like, Louis Vuitton is quite well priced for a lot of stuff. The key pouch is like in euros. I'm sure in dollars it's a different price, but in euros it's like 245 uh, euros. 
Um, I was looking at the, the one of the Kusama coin purses I like, it's like 540. The Louise earrings are 530. I'm thinking of things which I like. The mini pochettes, I think, is 570 euros. They have a lot of affordable bits and bobs. Why can't you just go in there and pick up something small just to show that you, you are like loyal to the brand and you like the brand, or at the very least, you like the brand, you're exchanging something and you know that that can be a pain, just pick up something small. If you like Louis Vuitton, what's the issue? Why are people so weird about this in these dragging reviews? Um, yeah, Louis Vuitton is not worried about this client and particularly men. Men are normally like in Louis Vuitton when like men are shopping there. Men are treated like kings, honey, okay? Like kings with crowns on their heads. They're treated so well. Boom, boom. They saw this client, they're like, this client is not here to buy anything. They just want to exchange something that's probably been used. I'm telling you now, since I've been doing these dragging reviews, all of the reviews where people say that they are exchanging or returning something, those items have been used. In, in the person's head, they tried it on at home lightly. Or in this previous review, in, in today's video, the item was gently used. Gently used. It is not brand new. That is a problem that Louis Vuitton have. Honestly, I would be fine with Louis Vuitton just going to like store credit, um, a store credit model or something like that because people are abusing this. People want to feel special. Oh, I went to Louis Vuitton and then I returned something, you know, or, or then I exchanged something. Okay, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat in the comments. You don't understand because in our country, this and this, I respect that and I've shopped um, many times in America. I had great shopping experiences in America, but I'm not someone who returns things. Like I'm not a returner. Um, I just, yeah, you know, so I think it might be a different thing. And I don't think there's anything wrong with exchanging something, particularly if you're a good client of that store. But I think if you're brand new to the store and you're brand new, as far as LV is concerned, this person's new to the brand and doesn't have a profile with them, hasn't purchased anything, and you're coming to, to exchange something. Yes, the essays are going to be tired of you. They tried to, the first essay dumped him. Second essay tried to help. First essay comes back to, to let the second essay know, uh-uh, this is not one of us. This person is not here to buy anything. They just want to exchange stuff, okay? They already got a gift. So you've got that wonderful gift Louis Vuitton feeling. Now you're going to go there and get another Louis Vuitton feeling without having to pay for anything by exchanging it. I don't really, I don't get what's going on. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the lords and ladies at the moment in these dragon reviews lately because I'm struggling to sympathize with them. I don't care if you guys come for me in these comments, you guys are always coming for me. I'm sorry. Some of this behavior is bang out of order and needs to be called out. I would be really annoyed to deal with uh, someone like this. Buy something small as well, you know. You don't have to think if you're exchanging something, go buy something small. What's, what's the issue of adding a small item? physically if you um, like Louis Vuitton. So I'd love to know what you think about um, today's dragging stories and today's dragging reviews of Louis Vuitton. I think Louis Vuitton is much more measured compared to other brands, um, but I must say, I, I'm noticing trends coming from all of the worldwide Louis Vuittons. First of all, Louis Vuitton have too many people coming to the boutique who want to get that Louis Vuitton shopping experience but not pay for it. So what they do um, is they go to Louis Vuitton, they buy something, they, then they come back and say they want to exchange um, the item. I've noticed that this is happening more and more and more. Um, so people get that high of saying they shopped at Louis Vuitton, but they didn't pay for it because they want to return the item or they want to exchange it for something else. Then they get that high again because they get the packaging again, they get the shopping bag again and all the rest of it. Okay, that is a problem that Louis Vuitton has. Not everyone, I know there are many of you who are big shoppers and big spenders at Louis Vuitton. Every now and then, yeah, you might want to exchange something and that's fine. We're not, to, so please don't moan about your situation. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the people in the dragging reviews, like people who are not um, loyal clients of the brand, who maybe popped in there once or gone in there once um, and they expect, you know, to be able to return something and to be treated really well and to be offered drinks and all the rest of it. I mean. I, I just don't understand. The next thing that I've noticed from a lot of these Louis Vuitton dragging reviews in today's and also the ones that I've read before that maybe I didn't feature in the video is this anti-browsing strategy, something that LV really is focused on. They really want to deter people from browsing. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, just go browse in department stores, it's fine. The Louis Vuitton in department stores don't care if you don't buy anything. The Louis Vuitton standalone stores, um, even though this boutique is in, I believe this is in a shopping center because I Googled it online just to have a look at it. 
Um, I would still look at this as more of a standalone boutique, even though it's in a shopping center, because it's in a shopping center, but it's not in a department store. It's a, it's its own standalone store, and it's the only Louis Vuitton in all of uh, Denver. Um, so it's going to be a very competitive store with a lot of big spenders and a lot of ballers. So this is going to be the kind of store that is absolutely going to deter people um, from you know browsing because that is something that they don't like. The third thing which I've noticed from a lot of the Louis Vuitton Dragon stories, make sure the Louis Vuitton SA knows, especially if it's not your home store, make sure that they know you are buying something today. I don't care whether you live in Denver, I don't care whether you live in Paris, I don't care whether you live in New York, I don't care whether you live in London, Shanghai, Singapore, Sydney, wherever you are in the world, you need to let the LVSA know you are buying something today. You want to look around at other bits and pieces, but I, oh, I am definitely going to buy this mini pochette today. I would like to buy a mini pochette today. No, I'm just going to look around as well. You know, while the while the essays may be wrapping up your order, oh, I'm just going to have a look around and you can also just continue browsing. Let them know that you're buying something. The mistake that a lot of people here make is they want to go try things on without signaling to the essay that they are purchasing today. Essay needs to know you're buying today because there are a lot of people who just come to waste time, pretend that they're buying and never buy anything. I'd love to know what you guys think about today's dragging video. If you like these videos, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I keep forgetting to ask for likes and my husband always tells me off. He's like, ask people to like your videos. I'm like, oh yeah. So please go do that. And um, also go follow me on all of my socials. I'm on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. Go follow my Facebook page. Um, I think I'm like one more follower away from 400 followers on my Facebook page, which to me is a big deal. So go follow my Facebook page and go join my group below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the weekend in my next video.